quite a fire streak of tournaments recently. And obviously, it will be going on to that Mario against the Zelda. Zelda can do some stuff with that zoning control, and Mario does sometimes struggle to get in. But it's Master Mario. Mario. He's PR number four. I expect good things to come from him. And once Mario does get in in this particular matchup, Zelda's lucky if she's only taking 40% or so That's because true. she can have such a difficult time landing. But here we go into game number one on Pokemon Stadium 2. It's actually been a bit since I've seen this map today. Zelda's about for the rapid job. Master just gonna tech in place and jump over the half charge Phantom. And there's one thing that uh, uh, Master Mario should do quite a lot is actually using the short hop downer or using it to interrupt combos or start one of his own. And he actually tried to wait it out expecting the Nairus love to come a little earlier, but he actually rolled right into it. Is he dead? No way. Not quite still at triple Oh, he this time the cape. Gonna be finished off by that Phantom. Master Mario's gonna be losing the first stock. Gets the grab right after, but Abe's looking very strong and able to escape that throw combo. Mm -hmm. Zelda can do really good things with the lead. He just needs to get Master Mario off of him. But here comes the up tilt. Looking up for a, little, for a little more damage, and here we go, the reversal use. Oh, he charged that he knew he was gonna spot dodge with the hard read. Master Mario finds a net smash of his own, answers right back, but jumps right into that up smash. Abe looking to continue this momentum he started the game with. Oh, he almost, he knew it was coming, he knew it was coming, but here it comes the standard combo. And like you said, you're lucky to reach 43, got a little standard combo in, takes exactly 40% damage. Master just not throwing an option, waiting for him to land first before going for three up airs consecutively. He's going to DI out before the bear can connect. Oh, he tried to go for the grab, but didn't go far enough. A little bit of a struggle, and thankfully he shields away the Black Knight, and Nairus Love using it once more. It's such a good move. Oh, no, you can't do that. Minimal punish. He's lucky to be alive in this, in this sense. Teleports right back, but has to find some way to land without getting grabbed. Oh! Does so with the landing there, but able to escape. Yeah, he's able to get away. Nairus Love used once more. And this time he uses the slowest option, but couldn't even get the grab spot dodging out of that situation. But this time he knew it was the roll. Ledge trapping with Zelda is so much needed. It's the only thing she can really get kills off of. And there she is. And you can't do that against Master Mario. You can't teleport like that. Yeah, for all this great neutral play and some of these great callouts and punishes, some of these teleports in neutral are just questionable at best. You can really see Aves recovering well from those, but who knows how many of those he can afford to take. Oh, goodness. There's no way out of that. He was stuck on that platform. He's actually going to get himself in the situation. Another sweet spot. That would have ended it right there. Unable to find the Lightning King. Master Mario reverses him back. Teleports back safely. Just goes for the neutral getup. Master Mario had the other options oh. covered. The back throw. No, he's going to mash out before. Oh, but the F smash is too slow to come out in time. Great air dodge to get himself out of this situation. And he's constantly trying to beat up with the grab range. Yeah, that's not to be underestimated. Nero's buff actually going to get rid of the fireball as well, sending him to the other side of the stage at 142. Oh, goodness. F smash is going out left and right, but he's actually able to do the fireball into the up air. Can't kill just yet. 153, and he is with the sweet spot game number one in Av's favor. And not only that, a two stock. Master Mario is completely shaken right now. Abe's just played that so well from start to finish. You could really see how he just adapted to whatever Master Mario was doing at the ledge, and especially when he was going off stage, unable to really complete the juggles. He got out every single time, it seemed like. Yeah, he's able to get it up, but Master Mario just needs to go. But, and he's actually got the d Wizzy colors on. He knows what's up. I mean, it's going to have to be more than a switch in costume for Master Mario if he wants to escape this game and escape pools here. And honestly, he's got to find some way out of this. That was a missed opportunity, but thankfully, goes relatively unpunished. Here comes the down air. Doing some more damage at the jungle, 48%. This is exactly what Master Mario needs, and he even tried to read that attempt. But Nehru's love is so good at covering these attempts, and here it comes. Does escape the chain, but at what cost? One up tilt into the Nair, putting Master Mario on top of the platform. Able to reverse the situation into that. Just gets rid of the flood backwards, but able to find the grab once again. Ah, uh -huh, and an easy confirm with the turnaround back here. Fireball does miss. He wants to hit him up. And he baited it out, knowing it was card. Hard call out from Master Mario. And stock number one goes into his favor. Yeah, sometimes the best option is no option at all. That way you can just gauge what your opponent is doing. Hayes was just baited into making the first move there. And if there's one thing I would be careful, especially Aves, oh, he confirmed into that one, and the mini pop-up from Aves as well. What an incredible confirm into the night, the down smash into it, but Master Mario strikes back with the spike of his own. What a hype matchup coming into play. What a high-octane game, two, three kills within a minute. 
Aves still looking on the offensive here, just going through this barrage of fireballs, unable to sweet spot there, but dash attack is gonna put Master Mario up to 151. Uh, just 51 in this case, he's able to get away, but here it comes, down, air into oh. the spike for a little more damage. And he caught him, air dodge, you can't do that, he tried to take the platform, and a little more damage as well, 77! And he jumped, he doesn't have a jump. That time not going into the F smash, but able to jump right over. Aves oh, he knew he was coming. He knew that he wanted to do Nehru's love. That's a panic option. And he snipes him out, but still not enough. And I cannot believe he didn't punish that up smash. You could really see Abe hesitated. Was he going to go for a grab? No, that's when you're shook right now, because that's the power of Master Mario. When he gets in your head and makes you fear him, look how much he's doing. He's crushing him on the side. He can't even escape the corner. And game number two goes into Master Mario's man with a two stock of his own. Yeah, that's how you really know that Abe was so frustrated there. He threw out two up smashes towards the ledge, and Abe was unable to punish either one. No, that's the fear factor of Master Mario. That's how much pressure he can exert. And it's exactly what just happened. Master Mario, he figured out the matchup. I mean, that's a reputation he's earned not only from that game too, but just so much of his fearful play thus far. He has a lot of Zelda practice against the likes of Fujin and Quazalaza and a ton of people around SoCal. Have to see if Aves can bury it up and take game three here. Or will the upset be avoided? I don't know. We'll see. Master Mario and Aves on game number three. Hopefully we can see something different because definitely we just had an exciting match. But obviously, Master Mario immediately going out offensive and catching up for a little more damage. One up to he goes on top of the platform. Back air actually goes past him and still able to land on the platform. Let's do a little more. 63% already. He's catching up a lot of damage. And the up tilt, they convert for something. Oh my goodness! Spike to the Shadow Realm! Master Mario almost to zero to death, but my goodness. That was crazy! And showing no signs of stopping here. Already in with the down air as well, continuing this with the up smash. And look at that pressure. He knew it was coming. Doesn't land the grab, he simply just rolls away and preserves to go right back into the neutral game. Oh, he even went for the fair as well. But right now, you're seeing Ace is a little flustered right now. Puts it back. I have to imagine though, one of these times, perhaps an up special might be caught out by the flood. You were seeing not as much of it in this game, two and three. Just be careful. These smash dunks are being randomly thrown out, and especially, oh, a great spot touch to avoid it. And Master Mario even had time to turn around and judge what he exactly wanted to do. And he's caught him on the roll. Roll perfectly anticipated for Master Mario, though. He's not going off he stage for the follow-up, but he's just continuing the ledge traps instead. And when he's getting this much mileage he out knew of it, it. Another he's back air. He's, he's got him! He knew. He read every single option. He's in his head. Picked him out of the air with that one. Master Mario showing no signs of slowing down here. Only 64% taken. And that time, the use of the Ooh. Din's fire actually going to be interrupted by the back Ooh. air. Hit him up with the Black Knight. Oh, goodness. Doesn't seem too even. And he's right now, you can't teleport like that in front of Master Mario. He's ready for that. And here comes the conversion. Doesn't fall out of that one, but you see the F tilt going is exactly what's going to happen. Hits him with the fireball, barely misses. Another time the spot attack, she just throws that net smash. This time, Aves is able to punish, but another ladder combo. Yeah, only gets not too many parts. And that getup, that getup is so slow. And Master Mario going for a spike of his own. He tries to confirm to it, but Nehru's love thankfully comes in. But the Black Knight Sword does catch him out for a little more damage. F smash thrown out once more. Back air, Aves is on his last stock. Master yeah. Mario. At a highly precarious situation at 132. Gets him into the F smash to get out of the corner, but oh, keeps it back. That could have been the end. Yeah, but he catches up with the speed spot with the bear once more. Tries to keep it away, but he caught him with the teleport. Not dead yet, though. Fireball going to be interrupted. Goes again. Oh, no. He caught him with the back air by Aves and Master Mario. What a hype set that just happened.